Hello, I'm Wayne from Talk Cars. Do you want a 10 second car? Has anyone explained to you what a 10 second car actually is? This is the video for you. tell you what you need to do to get your car into this elite bracket of 10 seconds. If you've watched any drag racing or street racing movies then you will have heard about a 10 second car. A 10 second car is a car that can do a quarter mile drag race in 10.9 seconds or less. That is a goal that many set out to achieve when modifying their car and it's become a gold standard benchmark. Although professional drag racing cars can do the quarter mile in less than half that time, 10 seconds remains a reasonable time for serious car tuners. Having a 10 second car puts you in a rather exclusive set of road legal cars. What does it take to make a 10 second car? Your skill as a driver will certainly influence your time. Changing gear swiftly and at the optimum point in the power band will have a big effect. But for now, we're going to focus on the basic tuning requirements to get your car in with a fighting chance of hitting that 10 second goal. You will likely want to increase your power output, but the smart money goes on increasing the power to weight ratio. A lighter car needs less power to reach that magic 10 second goal. So if you can strip out unnecessary weight and add power, you'll get much more bang for your buck and stand a much better chance of hitting that 10 second goal. So for a 10 second car, you've got the following ratio as a good starting point. 400 BHP for every thousand kilograms of car. So let's take an average car at 1,600 kilograms. So we're looking at something like a GTR or a Supra. You would need to have around 740 brake horsepower at the flywheel if you want to hit that 10 second goal. You can go to a lightweight car like a Lotus 211 which weighs in at 800 kilograms. In that car you would only need 320 brake horsepower at the flywheel. So weight reduction is usually the cheapest and best option you can do. Increasing the power is often a secondary consideration. But remember grip, transmission, clutch and driver ability all play their part. In terms of tuning a street car, we'd make sure you've got the best base to work from for your project. So we'd typically suggest an engine swap. You want a car that's already got quite a bit of power to start with because when you add mods to a car, you're adding a percentage power gain. The more you have at the outset, the more power you will make in the long run. Putting that power down is another factor. You can't put much power through a front wheel drive car, typically around 200 to 250 brake horsepower, you'll start to get some pretty major traction issues. Even with a clever differential, you're still limiting the power that you can put down if you went with front wheel drive. So most serious drag racers will use a rear wheel drive car where those rear wheels are pushed into the ground as it launches off and gives you the maximum amount of traction off the line. All wheel drive cars are another option. They're really good at getting the power down and the car will just propel itself like a rocket from the start line down that drag strip. If you want more information on getting a quarter mile time out of your car, please join our forum, visit our site. We've got lots of tuning tips and unlike this video where we are unable to update it, you'll be able to get the latest cutting edge information on our articles which are frequently updated. If you've got any suggestions, please let us know in the comments. We thrive on suggestions from our readers and those that watch our videos and they help us to up the quality of the information we provide so it's more useful to more people. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us to get out there. See you in the next video.